monitor panel on Caterpillar wheel loaders and crawler tractors is different than what is seen on excavators. Unlike the secret handshake used on excavators to access the menus for diagnostics, Caterpillar has put a rocker switch or button in their wheel loaders and crawler dozers to access the diagnostics. Pushing the button will shift the menu mode from hours to distance travel to diagnostics. Active codes will show up with a note in the top right corner saying serve code. Logged codes will not have that. As seen here, the codes will cycle through pretty quick, quickly, making it difficult to write them down. Pushing the button again will shift the system back to operation mode. The Caterpillar clicker box provides a way to view the codes one at a time and also allows a way to clear them out of the memory once the problems have been corrected. The box comes with an electrical harness that plugs into a 4-pin diagnostic connector on the machine, which is usually found near the large harness connector for a laptop computer. Instructions for using the tool are printed on the back. On crawler tractors, the connector is usually mounted in the operator's left side behind the operator's seat. On large wheel loaders, the diagnostic connector can be found loose or mounted in the right rear corner under an access door. With the clicker box plugged in and the machine ignition switch turned on, the mode switch is used to shift through the modes in the machine controller. In both wheel loaders and crawler dozers, the number 3 mode is where active and stored fault codes can be viewed. The display shows this code as active, and the code list describes it as monitor system voltage above normal. The problem that causes the active code will have to be fixed before the code will clear. You can use the scroll toggle on the box to shift through the fault codes one at a time. The second code identifies the torque converter temperature sender and indicates voltage below normal. The third code identifies the park brake switch and indicates the data as being erratic. The next code identifies the service brake pedal switch and again identifies the data as erratic. The 618 code indicates the data is erratic for the left secondary brake switch. The 622 code also shows the same issue with the upshift switch of the transmission. The 623 code shows the same again in the transmission directional switch. The 722.03 code indicates an above normal voltage in the secondary brake solenoid. The 91.02 code indicates that data is erratic in the throttle position sensor. The monitor panel will show end after the last log code. Shifting the scroll switch again will start the process over from the beginning. The codes can be cleared one at a time. When the fault code is showing on the monitor panel, shift the toggle switch marked clear and hold for a few seconds. When you let go of the toggle, the code should be cleared and the next code will show on the monitor.
When all the codes are cleared, the display will show centered lines. In this case, we still have an active code in the system, so it goes back to the first code again. When you're through with the code part of the menu, you can shift the mode switch through the menu codes until it reaches the operation mode, or simply turn off the machine key. The other modes that are available provide monitoring of functions or in some instances calibrations. A service manual should be used when entering into any of the other functions. When finished, disconnect the harness and reinstall the blank plug back in the connector to keep the contacts clean. We would like to thank the people at Evergreen Tractor for allowing us to help you keep your machines operating profitably.